little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning Big Square, Road to Ruta.com With your morning horn of Z's Your sip of coffee that's empty Alright, silver I've been jumping up and down about silver Get your physical now Get your physical now um, interesting report just came out on Friday from the OCC, the Office of Comptroller of Currencies, where they talk about derivatives months in the past. Uh, actually, it's first quarter. So they wait to the end of the second quarter to talk about the first quarter. And we knew that J.P. Morgan, from Ted Butler, we knew J.P. Morgan was getting out of uh, their silver derivative short contracts but we didn't have any proof. Well, now we have proof from the first quarter. Remember, the first quarter and second quarter are going to be very different because second quarter things got 50 times worse in the derivative market. Now here's the other deal. Silver aside, J.P. Morgan and the criminal banksters are using derivatives going through the roof because it's imploding. I want to show you, if you go to the Office of Comptroller and Cursor, first of all, take a look at the last 20 years of silver manipulation. 100% computer controlled. This blip up here, a guy named Bill Daly was put there. The head of JP Morgan's SWAT team was put as the chief of staff of Barack Obama to rig the silver price in 2011, up to $50 and then back down. And then he left office. So, just so we know, so we're clear what's going on here. This is an artificial bear market created by JP Morgan when they took over the Bear Stern short position. 100% manipulation, market rigging, criminal activity, condoned and actually approved by the Obama White House, the Bush White House, the, the Trump White House, all, everybody in the past 100 years has approved the rigging of the silver market. Just keep that in mind as we go through. Now, let's look at the COVID time, the last six months. Look what happened to silver. <laughs> You'd think COVID hits. Silver as a monetary metal should sh jump through the roof. All the silver mining companies had shut down, jumped through the roof, less supply. No, exact opposite happened. Silver is the number one thing to manipulate if you ha are trying to uh, run a rigged system. The number one thing to manipulate. So there you have it. That's what happened during COVID. Silver got slammed down to the under $12, something ridiculous, stupid. Nobody was selling silver for under $12. But the CFTC was created and invented to run cover for the manipulation. And it's being directed directly out of the White House, mind you. Absolutely. Trump and his team, Steve Mnuchin, head of computer market rigging at Goldman Sachs. Just so everybody is clear on that, and I think everybody is, it is rigged. Now, let's look at the numbers. Here's the quarterly uh, Office of Comp... Controller of Currencies, quarterly report on bank trading and derivative activities. So I've been saying the derivative market's blowing up. They're going to have to do something. Let's take a look at what it has done. And this is from, wait, we'll go, this is the end of the, the last year. JP Morgan had $46 trillion in derivatives. Why are they allowed to have that amount of derivatives? It's purely market rigging. $46 trillion dollars well, actually 47 46.8 47 trillion and notice in the fourth quarter of last year that goldman sachs actually lost money trading in derivatives it looks like trading revenue from foreign exchange positions hmm interesting you very rarely see a red for the criminal banksters now i want to show you now look at the the big number is 46 8 46.8 trillion dollars jp morgan had at the end of the year. Let's look at the end of the first quarter, which is down here. Hang on. Right here. 59 trillion. 59.6. That's $60 trillion. And look who's taking the losses now. JP Morgan, total trading revenue from cash and off balance sheet positions, loss of $940 million. But look at the trading revenue from equity positions, a loss of $2.4 billion. This is a bank. This is a bank that we are giving a license to print money. That's what a banking license is. It's a license to print money out of thin air. 
and they're gambling it on derivatives, and they lost $2.4 billion at the end of the first quarter. Where, where are the alarm bells? Where are the regulators? Where is the, the Fed, the ultimate regulator of J.P. Morgan? It's all a con game. It's all a rig game. J.P. Morgan losing money is unheard of, right? Let's see what else J.P. Morgan is doing. This is the gold contract for the end of the year. FX and gold right here, right there. Now let's look at the gold trunk contract for the, the end of the first quarter. I'm one up. Hang on. It is jumping. It is hopping. Look at that. The biggest in history. The end of the first quarter showed the biggest open position in gold derivatives in history. Now, this is gold and foreign exchange. They don't tell you which which one they're playing with. They hide it that way on purpose. But it's the biggest in history. Biggest derivative position in FX and gold in history. Right here. Here's, here's the last 20 years. That's up to $40 trillion. <laughs> and you don't think they're rigging the gold markets? Now let's go back and take a look at a very, very important market. This is the end of 2019, precious metals, which is mainly silver. Look at that jump in the fourth quarter in silver derivatives. Monster jump, biggest in history, up to almost $60 billion. And for silver, a tiny, tiny market, something stinks to high heaven, right? But wait a minute, Ted Butler was saying JP Morgan was getting out of its silver short position. Was that correct? So with everything else blowing up bigger in the derivative market between the fourth quarter and the first quarter of 2020, what is the only item that is going down? Bingo, there it is, silver. Silver derivatives are going down. Now, 90% of this is J.P. Morgan. 98, 99% of all derivative trading is just four banks. Just four banks. J.P. Morgan, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, and Bank of America. Those are the, the banking cabal that collude together to rig all markets. But JP, Jamie Dimon and J.P. Morgan, 100% in charge of the silver derivative, and is the only derivative that is going down. What does that tell you? J.P. Morgan's getting out, running for the hills, trying to go long with their physical. Very interesting. And if you go down to, you can find out exactly who is there and why. You can't find out why, but it'll show you who has the silver short position. There's the loss for JP Morgan. This is the gold, the gold uh, contract. Look, one year maturity at seven billion or seven trillion dollars for gold and FX. Seven trillion. Let's look and see what it was at the end of the fourth quarter. It's a little smaller so I can see it. Gold at FX maturity, six trillion in the one year. So they added a trillion dollars to the FX and gold maturity. You would think gold, silver, trade the same, right? Wait a minute. What do I see here? This is the end of the fourth quarter. Look at the precious metal exposure in derivatives from J.P. Morgan. $36 billion at the end. Is this the, which quarter am I in? At the end of 2019. $36 billion. Everything else has been exploding higher with J.P. Morgan. The derivatives are going crazy. Again, they they went from forty six trillion to fifty nine to sixty trillion. So they added thirteen trillion dollars to their derivative book. But look at the only thing that has gone down. Right here, twenty nine billion dollars, meaning that J P Morgan. Went from $36 billion to $29 billion. 
was Ted Butler correct that J.P. Morgan was snookering everybody else to get back in to silver derivatives and are going to run for the hills? Absolutely. They just knocked $8 billion, $7 billion off their silver short position. I wonder what uh, the other big one is, Citibank. Went from $7 billion, uh, ended up with $7 billion. So they went from 8 to $7 billion. They knocked a billion off. But look at the overall, 49.54. It didn't go down as much. So there's other banks in there. Now, this is just U.S. banks. I want to see the books of Scotiabank, HSBC, Deutsche Bank. They're the ones taking the silver, and especially BlackRock, which doesn't have to report to anybody. BlackRock's got the big, I think they're they're the ones taking over the big silver short now. Keep an eye on that. So clearly we have serious moves in the derivative market. JP Morgan going up $13 trillion in derivatives in just the first, first quarter. Imagine the derivatives in the second quarter. But the only derivative that didn't go up is silver. They're getting out of the silver derivative because they know silver is going to go sky high very soon. All right, that's your update on silver. Hang in there, my silver friends. Um, and if you look at the past three days, remember, now is the time you see hyper volatility all over the place in silver. I like the red, white, and blue it's coming up to the 4th of July. Again, on Tuesday is the last day of the quarter. Everybody has to mark their book to market. HSBC, Scotiabank, all the shorts don't want to do that because the eight big shorts are short uh, out of gold and silver. As I talked about yesterday, according to Ted Butler, they are short $9 billion hit. They're going to take a $9 billion hit if everything closes where it is. If silver goes up, they're going to be destroyed. If silver goes down, they're going to cover some of that $9 billion. They can't cover all of it. I do expect silver to go down Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If it goes up Monday and Tuesday, these guys are toast, done. And it's a delivery month. But, you know, it's say if silver jumps over $20, good night. Goodbye, HSBC. We're talking major chaos. That would be huge because it's the end of the month. Then they'll probably suspend reporting like they did at the end of the first quarter. It's a con game. You're playing in their game. They're going to do whatever they want. They'll tra change the rules at the blink of an eye. All right, everybody is talking about lock. We're going to have to lock down again. I call it the. This is now the Black Lives Matter disease. COVID 2.0, which is everybody's got it and everybody's young and everybody was in those damn uh, protests. All the white people in there. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Has a bunch of white people protesting. Look at the, the breakdown. This is from Zero Hedge. Who's America's racial equality protesters? 46% are white. 22% are Hispanic. Only 17% are black. And 8% are Asian. <laughs> Look at the age. 18 to 29, 41%. Who is getting COVID right now? Yes, there's spike in COVID. It's not because we're opening the economy. It's because of these damn protests because they're all young kids that are spiking right now. And they'll be fine, by the way, for the most part. Because it doesn't affect kids. They're outside. They're getting vitamin D. Yeah, they got the COVID, but they're high on vitamin D because they were outside. Oh, it's a crazy world we live in. Really good news here. A lot of the police who are completely disgusted with the government and the citizens now because they're trying to get rid of the police. They've been demonized. A lot of the police are joining the militia. Bravo. Let's see how these liberal, liberal libtards, as my friends call them, libtards do when the police join the militia and fight Antifa, a George, George Soros-funded white movement. Paid for. Now, I want to see. I want to see the militia go up against Antifa in a gun war. We might see that. I don't know. These days are crazy. It's going to get worse too. We're going to see economic chaos between now and the election, no doubt. If the Democrats win the election, watch for COVID to disappear overnight. 
That's how much control of the media they have. And by the way, if they tell you to, you have to wear a mask, you're going to hurt your body. You are going to hurt your body. The lack of oxygen and breathing in your own carbon dioxide is very bad for you. All the health experts know it, except apparently the CDC and Fauci and those guys. So if you do have to wear a mask, wear it minimally. Wear it only in dire emergencies because it's it is hurting your health, which makes you more susceptible to the COVID effects. This is from the, what is carbon dioxide? How can you be exposed to carbon dioxide? They, a lot of people get, I'm going to get one of those breathing um, oxygen checkers. You hold it by your mouth and you breathe and it's like 90, anything above like 95 or something like that is is normal and good for you. You put a mask on, you breathe into the thing, and it drops into the 80s, which is really bad for you, according to OSHA. But you don't hear these experts, experts on COVID, experts on health and wellness. You don't hear them talking about that. They won't even tell you to take load up on the vitamin D, which 90 was a 98% of the people who pass away because of COVID specifically, not because you get hit by a car and you have COVID, which counts as a COVID death, but because of COVID, I think it's 98% are low on vitamin D. Take your vitamin D, take your vitamin C, take your chaga. Use your mask sparingly. Now, if you're sick, yeah, don't go outside without your mask. Don't go outside. You shouldn't be going outside anyway. 14 days. You should be better. And then you're non-toxic, supposedly. If you're sick, stay inside. This is the first time in human history they've quarantined healthy people. Unheard of. And it's all a, a Democrat, deep state, George Soros, bad guy plan. Obviously, they're trying to get Trump out of office. Part of the plan. But there's more. They're testing you. How much will you take as far as removing your freedom and liberty? How much will you listen to the state when they demand that you put the elderly sick with COVID back into the elderly home facilities? Are you kidding me? They should be tried for murder. They knew what they were doing. But hey, it's a new day. We don't talk about things that happened in the past. Fauci, don't wear a mask. Wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. If you saw my analysis of the last Fauci uh, uh, press conference where he, he has his mask, he takes it off, he's fiddling with it, he rubs it all over his face. Are you kidding me? These people are a joke, my friends. Stand up for your rights. Stand up for your liberty. And the future is looking good for America if we do that. We are being tested. All right. Go to RoadToRuda.com. Hit subscribe today and join and you will be sent. In the mail, loaded on a paper wallet. You don't even have to understand cryptos. 100 Theta and 100 Theta Fuel loaded on a paper wallet for a one-year subscription or renewal. Theta is the future of not only broadband, but I believe the future of the internet. A decentralized internet. Ooh, that'd be cool. Lots coming down the pike for Theta. Lots coming down the pike for... 5G, I know everybody's scared of 5G, but there's nothing we can do about it. You can't stop it. It's coming. It's the plan. Elon Musk has his satellites ready to be fired up very soon. 5G will be everywhere. And Theta will be perfectly positioned on everybody's iPhone, on everybody's smart TV to mine you Theta Fuel, and you'll use that Theta Fuel to buy your internet for free. That type of thing. Anyway, you'll be you'll be off very very well off in the long run holding Theta. And I'm giving away mailing to your front door a Theta paper wallet. For every subscription to the private road, hit subscribe today and join Ruda on this road to freedom. I will talk to you guys later.